Concrete is the most important building material. However, it would be impossible to produce it without its key ingredient, cement. Cement, which comes in powder form, acts as a binding agent when mixed with water and aggregates. This combination is poured and sets, turning into the durable material with which we are all familiar, concrete. Join us for a tour and experience how cement is made, from extracting raw materials to dispatching our product. It all starts in the quarry. Raw materials such as limestone are extracted through blasting or excavated using heavy machinery, after which they are transported to the crushing installations and then to the plant. Once there, it is stored in homogenising beds. The cement industry manages biodiversity in close partnerships with local communities and NGOs, both during and after the exploitation phase, by creating new areas for plants and animals to thrive. The raw mill you see here is used to dry and grind the raw materials coming from the quarry, such as limestone shale, silica and iron oxide, into a very fine powder called raw mix. The raw mix is preheated to around 900 degrees centigrade in the preheater tower and fed into the kiln, the huge rotating furnace you can see in front of you, the heart of the cement making process. As the material moves through the kiln, it is heated in temperatures hotter than volcano lava. The different chemical elements of the raw mix combine to form a new substance known as clinker. Yet, we are committed to energy efficiency and we save energy by using recycled hot gases for the preheating of the material. Also, the extremely hot temperature in the kiln allows for the use of almost 100% alternative fuels made of waste to replace fossil fuels and raw materials. This is called co-processing. Quality is key for the cement production and the control room that you see here helps us monitor the entire process. The production is controlled tightly at every step and aims to ensure the best quality for the end product, as well as a strong environmental performance. After exiting the kiln, the clinker is cooled and ground to a fine powder in a ball mill. The rotating drum you see here is filled with steel balls of different sizes. Gypsum, or alternative raw materials, are added during the process, defining the setting time of the cement. Other raw materials, waste derived or natural, can also be added to reduce the clinker content and produce a variety of cements with differing properties. The cement is now ready to be delivered to customers, such as Ready Mix Concrete Companies, who deliver the concrete with mixer trucks to construction projects. The majority of cement is transported in silos, but it can also be delivered by rail, road or ships. Cement can also be shipped in cement bags for masonry work. Only a small part of the cement reaches the customer in bags. The production of cement is highly energy and resource efficient. It is also low waste, whilst offering a versatile quality product, which is essential to a modern society.